Hello everybody! With this tutorial we want to show you how to calibrate a linear jailbreak new scale. Here we have a DFW indicator with a small platform. We want to make an example calibrating the scale in double range 1500 grams, 0 0.5 gram and 3000 grams, 1 gram. Before start the programming, in order to obtain the best performances, we suggest to correctly set the scale level. On all the new Geo's case, you have uh, the bubble to do it easily. Another suggestion, especially for weighing system with many load cells, is to check the signal in the input before start using the diagnostic menu. Once turned on, this case shows the technical message no cal, it means uh, no calibration stored. To enter in the programming menu, press the tear key. Inside the menu, use the zero key and the tear key to scroll up and down the parameters. So, scroll down until set up and press print. Enter the config uh, parameter by pressing print. Scroll down until calib and press print. Now we set all the metrical parameters. Deci is the decimal point. We enter with print key and we change the position using the zero key. Our example needs one decimal place. We confirm this setting by pressing print. The indicator passes automatically to the next step. If you need to come back, you can use the chair key. UM is the unit of measure. We, we can choose between kilograms, grams, pounds, tons. Our example needs grams as unit. We confirm with print. Next step is div, the minimum division of the scale. Using tear, you scroll possible settings. For multi-range scales, we set the division of the first range, then the division of the next ranges will be set automatically. For our example, we set 0 0.5 grams. For the first range, so automatically the division of the second range will be 1 gram. Range 1 is the maximum capacity for a single range scale or, a multi or for a multi range scale, as in our example, it is the first range. C key erases the values. Mode key allows to scroll the number from left to right we need to set to 1500 grams and we confirm with print range 2 has to be programmed only in case of multi-range scales it is the second range for our example we need to set it to 3000 grams Also range 3 is needed only for multi-range scales, it is the third range. We do not need it for our example, so we skip it. Now we enter the calip step and we start the calibration procedure. NTP is the number of calibration points. We can calibrate the scale using up to three different points other than the zero one. In our example, we will use two calibration points. TP0 is the calibration of the zero point. You have to unload the scale and press print to acquire. The message OK appears and acoustic beep, beep confirms the acquisition. DDT1 is the first calibration point. We set the weight value that we will use to calibrate. 
In our example, uh, we use 1500 grams. We confirm with print. TP1 appears. We load the sample weight on the scale. We confirm with print and we wait for the acquisition. DDD2 is the second calibration point. We repeat the same operation as before. We set 3000 gram and we confirm with print. TP2 appears. We load the sample weight on the scale. We confirm and we wait for the acquisition. Ok, calibration is done and we, we can unload the scale. To save the calibration, we press many times C key until save message will appear. We press, we press the print key to confirm and store the calibration. The indicator comes automatically in weighing mode. Just a little test. One kilogram. Okay. Two kilograms. It's okay. Three kilograms. Here we are. Scale has been calibrated correctly. Take note that this procedure is the same for all the DFW indicators range. Thank you for your attention. For more details, visit our website, dnrgeo.com. Bye!